Hi, it's Mr. Collie, and um, we're going to start to create Pong in Scratch. Now, I'm using Scratch 2, which is the online version. Um, if you're not, some of the things I do will be, the buttons will be in slightly different places, but it's pretty easy to figure out as you follow along. So, we're going to start by creating a new blank project. I've signed into Scratch, you can see that's me up there, and I'm going to click Create, and this will give me a new project screen when it loads and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name my project and I'm going to call it Pong. Now all we're going to do in this video is get the three sprites that we need to play Pong drawn and on our stage. Now we don't need the cat so what I'm going to do is right click the cat and delete it. And What we're going to do is first of all we're going to draw our ball so down here next to where it says new sprite we click the paint new sprite option our ball is going to be a circle so I'm going to select ellipse and I'm going to make mine solid which you should do and I'm going to make mine black so I'll pick the colour down there try and make all your sprites a solid colour once we've done that if I hold down shift which is the key between caps lock and control on the left of your keyboard and then click and drag Scratch draws a perfect circle for me, which is ideal for my ball. Now I'm going to make mine a bit too big, because I'm going to show you how to shrink it. So there we go. There's my ball. The next thing I want to do is do something called set the costume center, which is to tell Scratch where the middle of my ball is. So up here, this is set costume center, and if you press it, you'll see you get a little crosshairs two cross lines that you can move. Now if you click in the middle of the ball roughly there that will tell Scratch that the middle of the ball is where you say it is. Once we've done that over here on the left we want to click the little I next to Sprite 1 and we want to give it a sensible name so I'm going to call mine Ball. There we go. Um, and we're going to do the same thing for our bat and our floor. So let's paint sprite again. This time for my bat I'm going to make my bat um, I don't know, light blue and I'm going to use a rectangle. I'm not holding down shift this time because then I'll get a square and I want a rectangle shape for my bat and I will draw my bat like that. Set the costume center again like so and down here under the eye I'm going to call it Bat. And the final sprite that we want is a line that runs all the way along the bottom of our screen so that when the ball hits it, we can lose a life. And I'm going to call that Floor. So again, I want another new sprite. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to zoom out this time so I can see the whole screen. Use my rectangle again and I'm going to make this a different colour. I'll make this one red, my Floor sprite and I'm going to draw a rectangle, a really thin one if it lets me rectangle tool here a really thin one all the way along the edge like that don't worry about where it is on the screen because you can always set that later again set the costume center there's the middle and change the name to floor Now, finally, we need to get our sprites the right size. So, over here, I can put my floor down at the bottom, like so. Um, it'll return to the middle for the moment, and we'll program that to go to the bottom later. But if you look, my bat is quite small compared to the ball. So, I want to make my ball smaller. To do that, up here, you have the shrink or grow tools for your sprite so I'm going to select the sprint shrink tool and then I'm going to keep clicking on the ball until it gets to the size that I want which is about there so to recap we have three sprites ball bat and floor we've set the costume center for each one and we've given each one a sensible name when you've done that you're ready to start programming so move on to the next video